It is springtime in DC, and there's nothing better than being able to spend time outside with your friends. The trees and flowers are beautiful, and we must understand how our actions every day affect the environment. While fast fashion stores seem affordable, their impact is detrimental to the environment. The plastic fibers used are polluting our oceans. The wastewater and toxic dyes are hurting the world around us. Sustainable fashion blogger Michelle Tyler lives by her motto of style with a conscience. I don't really think um, buying sustainable clothing is important. I think not buying clothing is important. Um, I think abstaining from shopping is important. I think only buying when you absolutely have no other option. Michelle said that many of the stores that are considered to be fast fashion stores not only lack a sustainability factor, but very few ethical guidelines as well. Brandy Melville, a fast fashion chain, is located right here in Georgetown. Olivia Gower, a former Brandy Melville employee, spoke to me about some of their ethical issues. Everything that they sell is one size fits all. And they do tell you, like when you get hired, that like technically what they say is that it's um, single size. Olivia said that she encountered many scenarios where mothers would come into the store shopping for their daughters and she would have to tell them the only size they sell is what would typically be made for someone who wears a size small. It's obviously so problematic and I hated it the entire time that I was there because I'm also not like a stick thin person. In addition to this ethical issue, Michelle also said that she thinks these companies are hypocritical in some of the slogans they will put on their clothing. When you wear something and it's been touched by many hands, it's been it's been touched by the earth and if if someone or something has been harmed by that shirt being made and it says um strong women support women on it it doesn't, it, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. While we know that many of the stores we currently shop at are not sustainable and lack other ethics, there are many stores that we can go to that focus on these ethics. Just a 20 minute drive from Georgetown is a sustainable clothing store called Jolie Kai. Jolie Kai was founded by Michelle Jaffe. So the first focus is really the emphasis on um, natural and regenerative fibers, um, biodegradable uh, materials, um, looking at toxicity, so the eco-friendly dyes, um, and then you know there are other layers like packaging and things like that that also play a role. I also look for certifications, um, so there's you know some sustainability certifications there's also fair trade and ethical production certifications and the brands that i work with really meet very high standards in those aspects michelle jaffe left me with some advice for other clothing stores and part of it is a philosophy you know you really have to be um specific in the way that you're sourcing things the way that you're making things so looking at suppliers looking at manufacturers and really just you know, doing better in that respect. These days, Americans' closets are filled with fast fashion items. It is our responsibility as consumers to be more aware of the products we are purchasing and their impacts on the environment. I'm making the pledge to be a more responsible shopper. Will you join me? Tess Mendelson, Washington, D.C.